Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chad Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you'll need to bring with you the passport for the deceased. Hmm. Passport. What's happening? Patna boy. Patna. Patna mein ja. Parva hai to baad mein ja. Lekin hamari range mein hai. Maine kaha baad mein. Kuch hai? Abhi tak kuch nahi. Koi baat nahi. Bahut koi baat nahi. Le lo. Stop. Mil gaya? Kuch mil gaya? Aao. Chalo chalo. Bas se niklo. Hey rok. Those words sound the same. That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that. There's a silver lining. You didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you, if food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this for just a moment? I want to get a little. Sure, right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. 
It will be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Should I stay or should I go? Give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more than chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplume. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, Hagen Min. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. We'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Hmm? All right. Like this with a smile. That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother. Your mother, on the yeah. other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you in hindsight. Too much distance has built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. Then I realized, it's not me, no. It was the fucking golden path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? See it. It means... Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with R.J. Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. Try for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! Help! From your diaphragm! Help! 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 Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! We'll find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Anji Gale. My name is Saban. I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? We're friends. I knew your father. We're here to rescue you, son of mine. What about Darpan? You are our priority. We need to get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. Like a few years back, my company started Darpan would understand. Now stay close. Third world shitholes, like... Oh. Shit, they know we're here. The door! Quickly! Anjay, with these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the truck. Move as fast as you can. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. One... Two, three! Okay, here we go. 
How did you know to find me? He saw Bacon's chopper nearby. He's never down this far south, and I wanted to know why. Lucky for you, we were in the area when we got Darpan's text. Well, we're here. Welcome to Banapur, home of the Golden Path. Who's this? Where's Darpan? He didn't make it. This is Ajay Gale, Mohan's son. Let me understand. Darpan's dead? Hmm? And you brought me this? I'm not involved in, in whatever this is. I'm just looking for Lakshmana. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him there? I'm sorry, brother. Amita's a little touchy. I'll talk to her. As for Lakshmana, it sounds like it could be a temple or shrine. But if that's the case, it's in the north. The north is enemy territory, and we can't get you there, not yet. Go and clear your head. Come find me when you're ready. Sabal hmm? says I shouldn't be doing this. I am teaching you to protect yourself. Ah, the tourist. I'm Amita. This is Badra. Hi. Keep walking. Look, I overreacted back there. We're at war. We keep losing soldiers. The work keeps piling up. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier. But I want to help. Okay. Sure. There's a farm not far from here. Kanan runs it, but she's old and she could use your help with some wild animals. I need you to keep the hides intact, so use this. Badra. What are you... Pick it up. Try again. Very good. Hey. Badra, how are you? Good. I, uh, brought you these pelts. I thought maybe you could use them. Hmm. It's a good Ajay. But you keep them. She has enough for her Tanka paintings. I'm sorry, Tanka what? This one is about the life of a guru. This one is about the demon Yalung. This one is about the goddess Kira. And that one is about Bhadra, the next Tarun Matara. Tarun Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child, being treated as an object, thing. <sighs> Thanks for your help. Later, I'll show you how to put those to good use. Welcome! I am Longinus. Welcome to my church! Away from church! That sells guns? Of course! Well, the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. Revelation 5.5. 5. It is the most invigorating weed. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not! Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah! The root of David hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. Uh, it is I... our savior. It is our savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior. So, I started thinking to myself, when the son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? When Christ returns to break the seven seals and bring about the rapture, he returns as a lion, yes? A lion needs teeth. What gun would Jesus choose? Deuteronomy 3247? But there are no empty words for you, but your very life. Well, maybe Revelations 1911. The discretion of a man 
deforest his anger. I don't know what you're talking about. A soldier knows. A soldier always knows. For we have seen the rapture and survived it. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. For every gun is a Bible. For every bullet, a sermon. And for every radio tower that you free from pagans' lies, I will give you something. A reward. It is the will of God. Here. This is for the first one. Vanderport is under attack! We need fighters here Sabah, now! What's happening? We're under attack! Stay away! Oh, shit! Go forth into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole of creation! People need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? Thank you. You're okay. <laughs> this is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. We can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. Come. First the hostages, then the outpost. You're not much of a listener, Ajay, but I have to admit, you've done a good job today. Thanks. It just felt like the right thing to do. Your mother would be proud. You want to reach, uh, what is it, Lakshmana? No. Getting there won't be easy. We lost the north to Pagan many years ago and we're struggling here in the south. I promised my mom I'd bring her ashes there. It was her dying wish. Think about it, Ajay. Your mother knew exactly what would happen once you showed up here in Kirat. The son of Mohan Kale returning to the war-torn land of his birth. <laughs> Ishwari was a smart woman. You being here, and helping our cause, is no accident. Stand with us, Ajay. Join the Golden Path, and I promise you, you will fulfill your mother's dying wish. Whether it was to spread her ashes at Lakshmana, or to accomplish something greater. Did my parents really start the Golden Path? They did. Their goal was to free Kirat from Pagan's regime. You have a chance to help us finish the work they started. Just think about it, Ajay. Well, Mom, looks like we're staying. No! You're a drunk! I would not want to walk in there right now. What are they arguing about? Pagan Min soldiers are about to attack one of our camps. Amida thinks our priority should be the information the fighters have gathered. Sabal thinks saving our people is more important. How long have they been at it? Long enough. The argument never changes and their positions never move. Look, I don't want to bother you, but you're Ajay Gale, right? <laughs> Thank you for helping us. Everyone here appreciates it. I owe Golden Path for rescuing me, but honestly, I'm just... I'm just here to scatter my mother's ashes. Perhaps. But now you see what Pagan has done to this country. You are the son of Mohan Gale. Like it or not, your duty is Kirat. And your choices will carry weight. We need someone to break the stalemate between Amita and Sabal. Keep that in mind when you're in there. Oh. 
This is about lives. We don't act, people will die. This is about war. We need that intel. We're talking about soldiers we can use. Remember what you said about DARPA? And if I had a choice between DARPA and the intelligence, I choose the intel. Get you that intel. Okay. We've been hearing of a major attack for a while, and then Bonnebo was hit, but it doesn't feel right. I think something big is coming, and the intel could confirm that. But we haven't heard from the camp since the attack, so watch yourself. Was that intel from the camp worth it? Did you even read it? Because I've got some intelligence for you. And it's solid. Nine of my men are dead. Good men you let die. You guys put me in a difficult position. The right choice was obvious! It's what your father would have done. That's the golden path. That's the direction we were going before he died and it all went to shit. Amita doesn't get it. She's always put her goals first. She's underhanded, she's subversive, and she always sacrifices lives. That's why I stepped up. I stepped up. Because I knew your father, and I respected his vision. You need to learn what drove him, what drives us. Go to the monastery. Educate yourself, Archie. Wait, what? Imbowel like empower. Well, that's an archaic term. It still means disavow. What? Like flammable and inflammable? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh! Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva. Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva. Welcome, my brother. You've come to a place of peace. Where the demons of modern life cannot reach you. You are safe here. Oh, my friend, Nam Shiva, Nam Shiva, comes from afar, seeking, seeking answers. We can give him those answers. For a nominal fee. Right, nothing in life is free. No. I'm sensing... We are sensing. We are sensing. You want to know who we are? Right, I'm Yogi, and this is Reggie. But you, stranger, you... You're the son of a legend. What? I see a world of danger and, and, and a mother with a black in heart. Hey, J. Gale. Welcome to Guru Ashram. What, what are you doing here? This is my parents' house. Why don't you guys get out? Oh, what? Why does he want us to get out? I don't know. Ask him. You ask him. Hey, I'm right here. Oh, he's right here. Good for him, he knows where he is. <laughs> okay, welcome, come in. Yeah, after all, two casse, two casse. Um, we'll clean up. We'll be, we'll be out momentarily. But first, let's, uh, have a little beast pipe. Where we hash out the details. You're into this sort of thing, right? You know what, I think I'm okay. So what are you guys doing here anyway? Ah, uh, AJ, we represent the interests of a certain power broker. Right, she'd like to press the flesh, as it were. A little meat greet. You being the meat. Well, we tried the carrot. 
Casi vos se estectan. Hey. What the fuck? I still want to shoot you both. Uh, listen, I don't blame you for wanting to put a hole in Reggie here. Don't forget we were trapped in this bloody country, like you, or I can nick your passports and they're getting us to fuck over folks, like you. And we can't go back to India after that incident with the cow. Cows, uh, right, cows, uh, oh, so many cows. Did you hear this 10 million hits on YouTube so far? Really? Yeah, it was, okay, look, 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 we, 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 we thought no one wanted to parlay. We didn't think she was gonna throw you in the arena naked. Yes, we did. That's why you bet against him. I only technically bet against him. I, I was trying to cover the spread, my old China. He means mate. I, however, had no doubt. I bet on you, mate. Check it out. Which I'm more than willing to split with you. Uh, 60-40. 40-60. Uh, right. Just take the whole lot. You deserve it. Fighting with your tackle flip-flopping about. Yeah. Oh, we're very impressed. With his tackle? With his fighting tit, he was very gladiator. I would say more 300. I want you two gone. I want you out of my house. I'm taking it back. And if you ever... We'll shoot Donald together. It's Yogi. Smoke? Leave. Right. Just, just give us a second to pack. Yeah. We're nesters. It's a bit of a mess. Ah. <sighs> but first... Right, well, we're off. 
We'll send someone back here to clean up the rest of our shit. All right? All right. Toodles! Toodles! Ajay, I can't tell you what saving those fields means to the future of Kirat. Supplies, weapons, ammunition, vehicles, everything the Golden Path needs to take the fight to pagan men. I wasn't sure about you. That first time in Banapur, all I saw was Sabal and his puppet, but you are not a puppet, are you? Now I can see what you're capable of. What a difference you've made! You didn't seek it out before the war. I was six years old when my parents told me that I had to marry. That's the world Sabal is pining for. He's trying to take us back to the Dark Ages. You and I, we make a good team. Now, I could use your help to protect the statues of Kira. Paul is trying to destroy them as part of his campaign to turn the people against the Golden Path. Amen. Ajay, it means a lot that you've supported me. a going away party at his compound. He's vulnerable there. He likes to ship in his meat from a nearby village. That is your way in. Once you're inside, sneak into the interrogation room. His guard will be down. for bed? Did you brush your teeth? For at least 10 seconds? That's my girl. Can you give your mom a big kiss for me? Well, you know, she gets lonely when I'm not there. You are the lady of the house. Of course. Now, you know daddy has to work, so a gift? Sure, sweetheart. What did you want? A ring. No, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. What else would you like? A necklace. Oh, a gold necklace. Well, actually, I think I see that exact thing. Yes, of course, it is shiny. Now, listen, Daddy has to work, all right? So I have to go. I, I love you, too. Yes. Kisses, kisses. I apologize for that, my daughter. You were here on time, and I was not ready. No disrespect intended. You? I 
Alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, my fucking taxi driver. Show him to his new home. Who threw that? Fucking savages! Let go! Wait, wait, that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Hey, Ashley! Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him. You're a drug peddler! That's what you are! Who do you remind me of? Oh, yes. Pagan. <laughs> I'm like Pagan because I have a vision for Kirat. I'm trying to take us out of your third world bullshit. It's our history, our culture, our traditions. Tradition? Like what? Marrying little girls, is that it? Is that your big plan for Badra? Oh, go for it. Go ahead, show Ajay what kind of man you are. I don't answer to you. It's Noah's turn. At least we agree on that. She didn't have a choice. Pagan forced Noah to do those things. He had her family. And how many families did she kill to save her own? Doesn't matter why she did it. She has to pay. Just like everyone else. I'll decide what happens to Noah. People of Kirat, I've given you winners to cheer for, and losers to mock. None so bloody, so desperate as today's gladiators. But there is always more blood to come! Me too. Where's my family? I'm sorry, Moore. <laughs> no! I'm so sorry. Sorry. Hanging. I can have him killed years ago. I don't need your pity. I want my family back. Look, I'm sorry, but you're free now. Free? Free? Free from what? All the people I've killed? From everything I've done? I gave them this taste for blood. Your blood. Mine. Is it that what you want? More blood! Here! Take more! Take all of it, you fucking animals! Now I'm free. years and I still can't figure out if that smell is bad sanitation or just the abject loss of hope. I don't smell anything. Point keeping up with that facade anymore. So who are you? Well, look at you. American on the inside and useful on the outside. You're the perfect wolf in sheep herder's clothing. Way better than the SoCal douchebag I had to babysit at my last stop. You're both patriots, though. Both the type that'll put your hand over your gosh darn heart when you hear the Star Spangled Banner at a Fourth of July ball game. <laughs> Useful on the outside. I work for Langley, Agent Willis Huntley. Langley, as in CIA. Everything you need to know about who killed your father is in that file. What file? One of the plane that's about to take off. Shit. Hey, you're gonna need this.
It's all fucking useless. What, you forget you're an American? Americans knock. Where's the original journal? I told you, the more work you do for me, the more little black bars get put out to pasture. Come on. Get in. I'll give you a teaser. Consider it a down payment. All right. Let's hear it. When I first recruited your old man, it was over a bottle of scotch and a seedy dive down in Tirtha. He was still working for pagan men then. His eyes were still moist and sparkling. <clears throat> men iced the air to the karate throne. The feces hit the fan, my friend. Pardon my French. What? No, 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 no. I I, I can't Don't hear worry, you it'll be in the document I give you when you finish this job. That night your mom left Karat, all the knives were out. Here as I hear told, Yuma's in the middle of it. You want answers? All paths lead to her. So what do you know about her? She's Pagan Min's second in command. Came in with him from Hong Kong. Triad connections up the Yin Yang. You know what that is, don't you? Yin Yang? So what are we doing here? We're going after one of Yuma's sites and the man running it. Take him out, we'll be able to get Yuma to sing us a tune. Did you eliminate the target? Yeah, yeah, I took care of him. Are we going after get Yuma it. now? Consider this information your last paycheck. You've been killing CIA assets this entire time. We're cleaning house. Pagan no longer represents a clear and present danger to the U.S. We needed to erase our footprint. You're at. You did a damn fine job of it! So everything you told me is a lie. What I said about your mom and your old man, all that was true. What I told you about Yuma... You can ask her yourself! What the fuck are you doing, man? Sorry, kid, but like I told you, every patriot I know is a son of a bitch! You left the bag on his head? Well, can he breathe? Could you at least punch holes so he doesn't suffocate? Hello! Did we enjoy our time with the CIA? Welcome to Degesh. I apologize for the Spartan accommodations, but you have been a naughty little shit, haven't you? Gallivanting about with a golden path. And poor Paul. Are you still sore about what he did with your little monkey friend? What was his name? Uh, deadpan, dipshit, doorknob? I... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for your ennui. But let me ease him into this humor. You're about to mind fuck the poor boy. Perhaps a little sugar on your shit sandwich? Whatever. You've seen him. He's still breathing. Now go away. I've got work to do. Fine, fine, fine. But I want him alive. With all the bits that count intact. But one last thing. Now, RJ, I know this is hard. But consider this tough love. Prison love. After all, you have a suite with a spectacular view. Oh, and uh, one final piece of advice. I wouldn't sleep too close to the edge. Whatever you say. Get on the floor. Why? Get on the fucking floor! I'm on the floor. What are you doing? What is that? Ah. Uh... Falling dream? A lot of people fall around here. Most of them don't wake up. That's what this place does to weak men.
It wasn't me, AJ. What? I didn't kill Mohan, despite what you might have heard. If I could have killed anyone, it would have been Ishwari, your whore of a mother. Fuck you. Just give up. Jump, please. If you do, I'll scatter her ashes for you. Congratulations, you're officially the luckiest man I know. I searched for you for a week in enemy territory. A good thing we found you before you froze to death. Where's Sabal? Probably doing what he does best. Sitting in a dark room praying to dead gods for your safe return. I've been watching you for three days, but you're awake now and you seem okay. I uh, have to go. There's still a war going on. Sabal was right about one thing. The Golden Path needs you. And I'm happy to have you with me. They're waiting for you downstairs. Ajay, thank you for reuniting us with the Golden Path in the south. You can tell Amita and Sabal we are ready to fight. They have targets picked. You know, I was told that if I ever wanted to experience the hospitality of Utkash, then I had to visit the Ranas. Oh, we questioned everyone, too. And everyone said the exact same thing. They are the friendliest. They will talk to anyone. To anyone, I said. To everyone, they said. Mm. Well, they were so emphatic that decided I had to see it for myself. <laughs> He's cute. You see, I, uh, wanted to warn you. Warn us, sir? Yes. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard, but it's come to my attention that there are some very disreputable people around. And I'm concerned that these people, these terrorists, they might take advantage of your hospitality. Maybe ruin your wonderful reputation. And we wouldn't want that to happen, now would we? No, sir. No. Well, would you allow me to protect you? To ensure your reputation? Please, yes, Kingman. Your wish is my command. <laughs> I'm so glad we could agree on this. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Uh, this should only take a moment. 
Can they say I've lost touch with my subjects? No! They'll kill you! I'm getting pagan. Just in time. Pagan's broadcast is starting. What's this about? No clue, brother. But we're going to find out. Good people of Kirat. I'm sure you will all be delighted to know that the reports of my death completely and utterly inaccurate. I am alive, and all is right in the world. The life brings change, and I implore you, Kirat, to look to my example and see it as the positive influence it is. Change requires strength, and it is a strength that I know all of you possess. Now, I recently experienced change within my own organization. Miss Knorr and Paul Deplor, after years of dedicated service, have decided to move on. I'm sure you will all join me in wishing them well in their future endeavors. But like them, we must look forward, not back. The attempt on my life is nothing more than a symptom of resistance to change. Rest easy. For Yuma Lau, my trusted commander-in-chief, who oversees our mining operations at the KEO facility, stands between me and any would-be assassin. She would rather die than see any harm come to me. Go ahead, I challenge you. Put her resolve to the test. To summarize, change is good. Embrace it. Your king is alive. Rejoice. And Yuma stands like a sentinel, waiting. Bring it on. Sounds like he's calling us out. The mines. You know what to do.
Hey, Badra. Hi. Or should I call you Tarun Matara? Badra is good. For now. What's wrong? Whoever captures Jalandu Temple will lead the Golden Path. The future of Kirat is at stake, and I'm caught between Amita and Sabah. You've seen them fight, you know how they are. Amita wants to destroy the temple. She says that this will free the women of Kirat and break us away from outdated traditions like the Tarun Matara. I thought Tarun Matara was a good thing. Sabal thinks it is. If he captures the temple, he'll complete the ceremony and make me Tarun Matara. He says that embracing our traditions is what will make us stronger. And what do you want to do? I want to free Kirat. But I can't choose on my own. Amit and Sabal will never agree, so... This leaves you, RJ. You've made a difference here. The Golden Path will listen to you. But you have to understand... ...that whoever you back at Jalandu... ...will become the unquestioned leader of the Golden Path. And once Pagan is defeated... ...they will control Kirat as well. told me about your plan to take down Jalandu. This isn't just about destroying the temple. This is about sending a message to everyone. It's a new day for Kirat. We're no longer shackled to the past. Without the Tarun Matara, we will expose Sabal for what he really is. A simple-minded fool squatting on ruins. We'll take everything valuable so we can melt it down and sell it. But the temple itself... I want you to crush it into dust. Where is everyone? At the Kalesh. We're getting ready for the final push. This is it. Win or lose. Sabal is splitting the Golden Path. He's jeopardizing our future, Ajay. Enough is enough. I'm telling you to kill him. I'm being very particular with my words, Ajay. Don't let him snake out of this. Besides, did you really think he was going to be okay with you betraying him and siding with me? No. We can't afford to let Sabal live. Ajay, be careful. The Golden Path needs you. I need you. Congratulations. Everything that meant something is irrelevant thanks to you. That's what's truly sad, brother. You handed over everything to a meter. To a meter! You think she can fix Kirad? How? Drug fields as far as the eye can see. Suicide nets in factory towns where men Women and children are free to be poor. It's a land of equal opportunity where everyone's a slave. Do you think this is the country your mother wanted her ashes to be scattered in? So what's it going to be, brother? Go. Gone, brother. 
रहा था कौन कम इन I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot that on your way in. Now, before we begin, to whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? If I was speaking to the first guy, then i would say sit down let's be civilized enjoy some food but we tried that before didn't we at our first meeting you sat right here paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one i stood just like this and what were my exact words ah stay here Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away together and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy who didn't listen, decided instead to join the other monkeys. and start throwing his shit around. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I call a do-over. Hmm? I say you have two choices. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down and enjoy some food. And you and I will go scatter your mother's ashes. It's a ball. Doesn't really matter. I already know. I just want to hear you say it. Fuck you. My goodness, boy, you didn't even blink. <laughs> well, you do realize that you're just giving away your country, right? It's yours. It's always been yours. Kirat is yours. I pulled you off the bus in the first place to pass it on to you. I suppose you could take it back. You're halfway there, one down, one to go. Not that I want to put ideas in your head. But at least now we know you have a taste for doing what it takes. Well, no more putting it off, I suppose. Hmm. Well, come on. And don't forget your mother. You do realize that urn represents all that's left of the old RJ. The pre-Kirat RJ. Once you spread those ashes, all the ties you have to that previous life are gone. And then what happens? Well, I suppose you could do what I did after Mohan killed Lakshmana. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Yes, your father killed your half sister and then your mother killed him in return. I simply continued where she left off. I killed so many people for them. But then I realized I was only using Lakshmana's death as an excuse to do whatever I wanted to do. 
Just as you use those ashes as an excuse to do whatever you want to do. God damn if it isn't fun. Well, you finally made it. You know the one and only time I walked into this place. I came in a sane man and came out. Like this. Go on, then. Do what you came here to do. I want you to go into every home and find every child, every child. Bring them back here to me. Go. What's going on? We need more soldiers to fight the holdouts from the Royal Army. And I need to start thinking about Kirat's future. We have opium fields to protect, laws to enforce, workers to keep in line. So you're forcing the people to join Golden Path? <laughs> I'm sacrificing our liberties for peace later. You can either get in line or get out of the way. Please. Please. Uto. This is a good thing. Your children will help Kirat become a better place. If you love Kirat, you will turn around go into your homes, or I will have you shot. Why are you doing this? I'm doing what's best for my country. And what about Badra? What does she have to say about this? It doesn't matter what she has to say. I've sent her away. I don't need a Tarun Matara here for our enemies to rally behind. Not your concern. And don't bother trying to find her. Badra's not coming back. 